Marco Pierre White, famous quotes. Perhaps I created the monster. Gordon Ramsay, who ended up as a TV personality screaming at celebrities on Hell's Kitchen, doing to them what I had done to him. All great chefs have two things in common. First, they respect nature as the true artist, and they are just cooks. Second, everything that they do is an extension of them as a person. We all make mistakes. God knows I've made more than anyone else I know. I think what you've got to do is to create an environment which people wish to sit in. You have to create a menu which is interesting to people. You have to create food which is delicious and affordable. I think that's what's important. I think self-discovery is the greatest achievement in life because once you discover yourself and accept what you are, then you can fulfill your true potential and be happy. A cookery book should be there for inspiration. Recipes should be a guideline and they shouldn't be cast in stone. Cooking is a philosophy, it's not a recipe. When you work for someone, you never realize how much you are learning. It is only when you leave and you reflect back on life. The food wasn't very good in the first kitchen I ever worked in, but it was very busy. So I learned to be fast, absorb pressure, use a knife, and say, yes, chef, I don't need Michelin, and they don't need me. For me, food is about generosity, and this should reflect on the plate as well. People are bored of these 12-course gastronomic menus. What they want is affordable glamour. Good people are always forgiving. They close an eye to one's failings. Remember, restaurateurs are only shopkeepers. That's all we are. It's no different from the supermarket down the road. I think, in life, the more you force things, they break. You just let things happen. Once you accept and understand yourself, you do things for the right reasons, not the wrong ones, rather than being fueled by your insecurities. Nine out of 10. English chefs have their names on their chests. Who do they think they are? They're dreamers, they're jokes. Anybody who thinks they're the perfect parent is a fool. Buy locally where possible, but if you can't get the very best locally, don't buy locally. Buy it from where it is best. If I did one thing, I made cooking rock and roll. I made it sexy. I made young kids from rich backgrounds want to come into my world. When you roast a chicken perfectly, there's nothing more delicious. The pressure of TV can force people to do odd things. I discovered that the world of the finest restaurants was something akin to the world of the Mafia. Restaurants should be democratic. You shouldn't be made to feel privileged for getting a table or being lectured by the waiter. I never met a man who worked harder than me. You can't be a chef and appear on television all the time. It's impossible. At least when I earned my stars, I was always behind my stove. I'm a great fan of farmed products, as long as it's done properly, because it allows people to be able to afford them. If it wasn't for farmed products, a lot of people wouldn't eat so well. If I think back to the 80s, my methods weren't conventional, but they got results. Cuisine Nouvelle was just a concept, and one which, crucially, the English managed to get wrong. I mean, if you run a restaurant, you've got to feed people, not make pretty little pictures on plates to make up for your lack of ability. A tree without roots is just a piece of wood. If you are not extreme, hen people will take shortcuts because they don't fear you. Strategy will compensate the talent. The talent will never compensate the strategy. I borrowed a quote from Oscar Wilde and put it at the top of the menu. To get into the best society nowadays, one has either to feed people, amuse people, or shock people, that is all. To know how to eat well, knee must first know how to wait. Mother Nature is the true artist. 
and our job as cooks is to allow her to shine. Success is born out of arrogance, but greatness comes from humility. Once you accept you are being judged by people who have less knowledge than yourself, then what's it worth? At the end of the day, it's just food, isn't it? Just food. The most poisonous source in any kitchen is a chef's ego. I cannot teach anybody how to cook. All I can do is show them, share methods with them. Today, there are very few chefs at that high level who are behind their stoves. You don't feel their presence in the room. Where's the romance? Where's the show? Where's the theater? The modern day restaurant, it's like dining in a chapel. It's boring. People who can give themselves every day. They're the people that I admire. They're real people. I can sit here today and say that I saw the golden age of gastronomy. It's gone. It's never gonna have that anymore. Once the accountants get involved, the romance fades. That's the reality.